hey hoes welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here how are you guys i hope you guys are having an amazing day anyways so in today's video i'm going to be recreating one of another kylie's iconic makeup look this one to be exact the first look that i ever created of her was probably on march or in february yeah so anyways this is my second video of me recreating Kylie Jenner's makeup look. I'm also gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to get her eye makeup because her eye makeup is... And I'm gonna go in depth, step by step, teach you guys how to achieve this look. So if you wanna know how to get this eye makeup, then keep on watching. So first thing first I'm going to do is put my hair back so it's out of the way. Also, I recently waxed my upper lip so it's kind of red from this side and i applied aloe vera on it okay this is great so as you guys know my first makeup step usually is my eyebrows so i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and i'll be wet again to start with the eye makeup adios okay i tried to make my eyebrows as similar as hers but hers is way thinner than mine so yeah i don't think my eyebrows matches hers i apologize at least i made them longer now let's start with the eyeshadow okay so i'm looking at the picture right here so as you can see she has like a brown full cut crease with a liner moment um i think i can say right now that i'm a pro at doing cut creases like full cut creases so this would be a piece of cake to me i wish i hope i mean i hope I feel like the eyeshadow would look good like I will nail the eyeshadow but then the eyeliner will mess it up I don't know why but I always mess it up when it comes to um what do you call it eyeliner only if I'm lucky anyway so first thing first before we put on any eyeshadow ladies remember to prep your eyes if you want your eyeshadow to stick on longer and become more pigmented then I highly suggest you to use an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow primer in this case i'm using an eyeshadow base this is the nyx professional makeup eyeshadow base and it's basically in skin tone and i'm going to use a brush i'm gonna use a round brush you can use like any brush or you can even use your finger if you want i used to use my finger but today i feel like i need to be a little bit professional so i'm using a brush and i'm going to start applying it all over my eyelids the difference it looks more brighter than the eyes with no primer on and then next i'm going to use this eyeshadow palette this is the revolution one it's my favorite eyeshadow palette like it literally it has all shades of browns well basically not all shade brown but enough brown sh shade enough sh brown shades hello english and first thing i'm going to use is a warmer brown color as my first color and i'm gonna put a chart so you guys can see the difference between brown shades so the first brown shade that i'm going to use is this one right over here this one right over here it's beside the black it's uh, above the black and i'm using a small tiny brush like this and i'm going to apply it on my crease so i'm going to start from here and drag it out just like that can you guys see yeah and keep on blending the color take your time in blending because we don't want any harsh lines okay ladies right and now i'm grabbing like a bigger and more fluffier brush and i'm going to blend it only from the upwards over here okay now we're going to use a cool tone brown shade what was that and we're going to use a smaller brush than we did before and i'm going to use this color right over here it's a very dark brownish shade and it's in the cool tone and, and i'm going to use it to contour my eyelids And the reason why we're using a small brush is because we want the eyeshadow to be more precise, if you know what I mean, because this is a full cut crease. You need to be extra careful with full creases. 
keep on blending and then I'm using again a bigger brush and I'm gonna blend the in the two brown shades okay now that I have two shades blended well I'm going to start cutting my crease I'm using a really pale concealer you can use a concealer if I'm, and I'm gonna use it to cut my crease and when you're cutting your crease you need to use a flat small brush I have a very shaky hands like I don't know if you guys can see it but my hands are very shaky like usually my hands are very shaky so I always take my time when cutting my crease due to my shaky hands And then I'm using a bigger brush and I'm gonna keep on blending the concealer into my eyelids. Right? Next, we're going to set the concealer with a really light shade. For example, this one. And with a small brush, I'm going to pack in the color into my lids to set in the concealer. Now, this is it for the eyeshadow. Now we're going to move on to the eyeliner. Kylie's liner, they're usually long and very thin. So we are going to do the same, obviously. So you can use any eyeliner you like. I like to use this Revolution Makeup Revolution London eyeliner in black, obvi. And I'm going to start with the eyeliner. Let me say my prayers real fast yo i'm literally so nervous like what if i mess it up no i got this i got this you got this we both got this okay Hey besties, so I did my other eye off camera and also fixed my eyeliner. You see here guys, when I open my eyes, my eyeliner doesn't look straight, instead it looks like curvy. But it's because I have hooded eyes, right? But I promise this eyeliner is literally as straight as my hair right now. <laughs> okay, I promise it's not curvy. It's just because I have hooded eyes. Plus, this isn't, this isn't how I usually do my eyebrow, uh, my eyeliner, I usually make it more like upwards and thicker, so it looks better with my hooded eyes, but it's okay. Right now, I'm cleaning my eyeliner because it's a mess. Are they even, they're not even the same way, Prod, let me, let me try to fix it a little bit. Okay, I kind of messed it up, this guy, see, I made a stupid mistake. You see here, I knew it. I have butt luck with eyeliner. Like, literally, I have to try multiple times for it to get it right. So, shit, man. I feel like all of us make mistakes while doing our eyeliner. Like, those people who be like, oh my god, no, I, this is the, like, this is the first time, like, I do my eyeliner. Like, you know, this is my first try. And it's, and it came out this perfect. They're lying to you, okay? Unless they were very lucky or they were witches. But other than that, no regular human being can do like perfect eyeliner the first time, like first go. You need to refix it and clean it up and fix it again and clean it up, man. Yeah, this is why I stopped wearing liquid eyeliners and I started using eyeshadow as an eyeliner because they're much better to deal with, but yeah. I love how like, this is supposed to be a tutorial, but I'm here like complaining about eyeliner and shit like that. Exists, nobody cares. 
I'm going to take a break from the eyes. Actually, all I have left for the eyes are I'm going to do my inner corners, uh, put on mascara, and lashes only at the bottom, only at the end, because Miss Kylie Jenner doesn't look like she has lashes on. I don't know if those are actual lashes or she has lash extensions on, but her lashes are really good. They're really, really good. Yeah, and I'm going to move <laughs> with my so we need to have a flawless skin so i'm using this botanics face cream this is the day cream and i'm gonna spread this all over my face also guys i broke a nail so sad i broke it yesterday and it was like the saddest moment of my life and next we're going to put is on Poima. this is the bys the bys primer and i'm going to put like two drops into my hand fingers i mean and i'm going to warm them up and massage it into my nose and right over here also a little bit on my chin because this primer is supposed to be for oily skin and the only places oh my god i talk a lot i'm gonna shut up now ladies i'm going to do my base makeup off camera which consists of foundation concealer and i'm going to set it there's nothing special with her base makeup like her base makeup looks simple i guess so i'm going to do that and i'll be back okay okay so hey hotties i'm back with my base makeup and now i'm going to start bronzering because i look like a flatbread and I'm going to start bronzing my face. Also, I fixed the eyeliner off camera and I'm satisfied with how it looks. We need to make our jawline as sharp as possible because Miss Kylie's jawline is out of the world. Her jawline is so I think sharp, man. Now we're going to start contouring my nose because we have to make her skin a legend, obviously. Wait, let me look. Hmm. Just like hers. Plus her nose is really pointy, so I'm going to make my nose pointy too. And yeah. Ooh, that's a little bit harsh, isn't it? It's okay, I'm going to blend it afterwards. So it's okay. And make sure to bring the contour lines as close as possible to make it more slimmer because the closer the lines the slimmer the nose and i'm just gonna put the tiniest bit wet over here and dust it off like this in like upwards motion so look like that i have extremely lifted nose like hers sadly she doesn't have a button nose so i'm not gonna contour my nose in a cotton cotton in a button nose Form. Did that even make sense? I don't know, man. I look pretty from this angle. Mm. Okay, what next? Blush. Okay, I've never seen a picture of Kylie Jenner without blush, and she talked multiple times in her makeup look and like her makeup videos how much she loves blush. And I can 100% relate. I love blush. I would cut. I would be cut dead leaving the house without blush. That's how much I love blush. Like, yeah. But I'm gonna focus the blush on the center of my face and then blend it upwards like this because Miss Kylie's Jenner blush starts from here and let's blend it upwards I usually put it like only from here like from this region but since this Miss Kylie's Jenner looks we gotta we gotta do our blush the same way she does and I'm gonna keep on blending because this blush is very harsh. Also, make sure to use a pink blush. Like, the pinker, the better. Okay, so I'm going back to the eyes and finish it off. So first, I'm going to draw my inner corners using an oil liner. Mm. Ooh, did I, did I ever mention how much I love inner corners? Just, ugh, they make the look, like, they make the eyes more sexier and prettier and sexier. So, mm. I highly suggest you guys to start doing your inner corners when you do your makeup, okay? Okay, okay I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my inner corners. Ew, okay, that smell was ugly.
Okay, so I did the inner corners and I put on some mascara and lashes. All I have left is highlighter and lips. Now, her highlighter is not that like strong, like, you know, like, like no. So like, more, it's more like a, my ring light is gonna fall. Wait, pause a minute, fix my ring light real quick. Okay, now I'm using a small fan brush and I'm gonna put, I'm using this highlighter, by the way. This one, and this palette. What's wrong with my ring lighter? Also on the top of my nose and the bridge bridge and lastly on my cupid spot. That's it. And lastly we have is lips. Mm -hmm. You can't be Kylie Jenner without lips. What? I don't know what I just said. Okay, it looks like she has matte lipstick on, which I totally hate putting on because they always dry my lips. No matter how many times I moisturize my lips, it's dry. It turns out to be dry. Anyway, so first I'm going to start with this antique rose lip liner from Gosh. It's an antique rose, by the way. And I'm going to overline my lips, obvi. And then I'm using a nude lip gloss, I mean lipstick, a matte one. I don't know from where this is. And I'm just gonna apply it. Oh my god, this is the first time you guys see me with matte lipstick, no? Okay, I have to clean it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a concealer and I'm going to clean it up just the tiniest bit. This is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching uh, and thank you for whoever is subscribing to my channel. And if you're not subscribing, you better subscribe. I really love this look on me like i just i don't know i honestly had a second thought i didn't think that this look would match me but surprisingly it did and i'm so happy that it turned out to be good i stay safe and i'll see you guys with a brand new video see ya